You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So, me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today, I'm coming back at you in another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in after Nate's big, after after Nate's big acting performance. Let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. And let's jump right in. Alarm sound, you're up, and let's go. All right. <laughs> I enjoyed the part I played it too. <laughs> You have to, uh, learn to think on your feet in this industry. Yep, same with football. Remember what I said about you having potential? Yeah? I can tell you, I can tell you you're gonna make it. Keep your chin up. <laughs> Nate's gaze falls to the side. I can tell from where I'm standing he's trying to hold back a blush. Uh -huh. Chris leads us past another group whose mentor is giving them a deep, insightful lecture about the history of some painted rock on campus. <laughs> their, stuff, their stuffy delivery really makes me glad I ended up with Chris. <clears throat> oh, to the right is, Lu is Lewison Chapel. We have one on campus? That's right! That is a relief. They perform Catholic services there? Of course they do, silly! Is considered one of the prettiest non-denominational chapels in the United States. Non-denominational? That means it isn't dedicated to any one religion. That's right, Karina. What was originally established as a Catholic chapel, over time it became open and accepting to students of all faiths. How does that even work? Students are allowed to follow their religious customs within its walls. We have rooms specialized for all forms of prayer, and religious clubs are encouraged to host services according to their faith for all who wish to attend. That sounds complicated. Hmm. Can't say I'll be using it. I'm not a big on religion, no offense. Besides, I'm sure I just burst into flames if I walked in there. <laughs> I survived being raised in a Protestant household. Need I say more? Hey, remember this is a safe space, guys. Let's be fair and accepting of everyone's beliefs, okay? What's your faith, Chris? Gah! <laughs> you walked right into that one. Um, I honestly don't know much about religion. My mom's an atheist, while my dad was a staunch Christian. I'm baptized, but I didn't really go to church and stuff. I guess I believe in a higher power, but I don't really know what else to believe. I think that makes me agnostic? Chris's tail wags behind him, giving the appearance he's happy to talk about this. But I'm pretty sure he's hoping nobody presses him on it further. I think that counts. Yeah. I'm pretty similar. I'd say I'm more spiritual than religious, but I'm open to ideas and traditions of others. Huh. Carlos stands with his arms folded, tail flicking left and right behind him. You're all so quick to dismiss faith. What's wrong with that? He looks up at me with an expression I can't quite decipher. I am not used to... Uh... Being around godless heathens? I did not say that. That's what you're thinking, though. Don't deny it. Leave him alone, Brian. I see the way you look at Nate. I see the way you look at Nate and I. You probably expect us to burn in hell, huh? I would never. Karina puts a hand on Carlos's shoulder before walking up to Brian, staring him down. That's enough. You two have been fighting all day, and it's getting on my nerves. If you guys hear that sound, my cat is trying to get into the room. But he's a dummy, and he doesn't know what a closed door means. Knock it off, dummy. I'm gonna grab your tail. <laughs> but Karina grabs his shirt and pulls him down to her level. Behind her, Chris stands looking petrified, watching his mentees fight each other. You owe Carlos an apology for that one. I Do I make myself clear? Y yes, sir. My eyes widen at what just happened. And Karina releases Brian from her grip and she stands firm. I'm sorry, Carlos. <laughs> so he turns around like that. Apology accepted. Karina turns to me and smiles, clearly proud of herself for that. I fake a smile and give her a thumbs up. Sheesh, remind me not to piss her off. Well, now that we're all getting along, shall we continue? But Ben didn't... Yeah, uh, let's keep going. I cut Nate off before he can finish. <laughs> yep, if you're in a group of people, don't talk politics, don't talk religion. And you all get along fine. A very modern, sleek-looking building comes into view as we take a right onto another path. There's a fancy sign that displays the name of the department it hosts. Ah, 
This is the engineering and computer science building. Almost all my classes are in there. <laughs> oh, you've never told us what you're studying. So you're going to be an engineer, huh? <laughs> Not exactly. I, can pro I plan to be a professional programmer, so I'm studying computer science. Ah, that explains a lot. I had you pegged as a video gamer the moment I saw you. What? I'm not that predictable, am I? Oh no. Eh? Karina shoots me a death glare this time. So, sorry, I didn't realize that hurt your feelings. He pushes up his glasses with a finger and he smiles. Nah, it's okay. I'm used to it. Yeah, I'd like to lie. I'd like to be a video game developer someday. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Video games are one of my passions. I've been playing them since I was three years old. Oh I'd, oh, I'd love to get hired by one of the big studios. It's my dream. I notice Nate has left my line of sight, so I glance around trying to find him. Uh, what are you doing, Nate? Carlos steps aside, revealing a cowering fox behind him. Nate points a finger at the entrance to the engineering building. What is she doing here still? Hmm? Looking over, I see a group of adults being led out of the building by another mentor. I throw my brow, trying to make out what could possibly be putting him on edge. And don't get me started on game mechanics. My favorite... Chris, what's going on over there? Gah! And I inadvertently snap him out of his rambling and catch his attention. What was that, Bennett? Those people over there, are they parents? Oh, yeah. There's an orientation for parents, too. You're kidding me. Why can't you just leave me alone? We offer it to ease parents into letting their children go. We show them the facilities, let them see the, meet them meet the deans, and basically do everything we can to ease the transition for them. You all right there, Nate? No, I'm not all right. My mom's in that group. Can we move to the to the next location, please? I notice the tone of his voice is completely different right now. Cheerful exuberance seems to have been replaced by utter disgust, which catches me off guard. Oh! Okay, yeah, we can! Chris seems disappointed nobody appears to care about his interests. Eh, I'm sure we'll have another chance to talk about it. Poor Nate. I'm guessing he does not have a good relationship with his mother. As we're walking along, I notice there's something missing. I get closer to Nate and lower my voice so I don't draw attention to this. Hey, uh... I think you might have dropped your bracelet. Hmm? His response is surprisingly curt. His tail flicks back and forth, clearly expressing his annoyance right now. Oh, right. He pats his pocket. I just put it away. But what? I'm about to ask a stupid question, but I stop myself. Oh! Hmm? He just looks at me and smiles. Yeah, that's what I thought was going on. I'm sorry. It can't be easy to deal with. It's okay. I'll manage. I always do. Knowing her, if she could be walking with us right now... I wouldn't doubt she's keep she's been keeping an eye on out for me. A helicopter mom, huh? I wish she wouldn't wear that pink shirt. It makes you look like a f Ugh. A what? He closes his eyes and takes a quick breath, then seemingly returns to his old self. <laughs> he gives me one last wink before returning his gaze forward. I see. Damn, sometimes I'm glad my parents weren't were so were so distant. With the engineering building behind us, Chris leads us down a path that feels like we're wrapping back around towards Raymond Field. A strikingly official government building look, building lo uh, fi a strikingly official government looking building looms over us to our left. This is our business and law department. We have a renowned business administration program for undergrads. Those interested in pursuing law have a ton of options prepared for them before graduation. I believe one of you is interested in pre-law, right? Correct. He looks up at the building and smiles. This is the place my aunt said I would have said I would be when we visited a year ago. Oh, so you had a you've had a tour before. My aunt is an alumna. Chris's eyes light up. Really? That's so cool! So you're continuing on the legacy. I wouldn't put it like that. Carlos tries to hide a blush. Say, does anyone know what time it is? <clears throat> Alright guys, my throat's a little dry. Hold on a s hold on a sec. 
While Brian's pulling out his phone, Chris opens his mentor packet again and flips to the itinerary. Hmm. It's almost noon. Gah! But we're gonna be late for lunch! Relax, we can handle... Seemingly on cue, my stomach begins to growl at me angrily. I suddenly remember the last meal I had ended up in the airplane's toilet. Uh, on second thought, I could use a little food. <laughs> what? I look at Brian inquisitively. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. My eyes narrow. I bet he was planning another innuendo. This guy really has a one-track mind. O okay, guys, we need to start heading back towards the university center. Follow me. He directs us across to the other side of the path between a couple other buildings. All right, I need to cover these quick. To the right is the music department. We've had several famous musicians attend USL, though I can't remember when they can't remember who they are off the top of my head. That's awesome. Yeah, I think one of them was a jazz artist. Bubba something. Ah, Bubba Stanley. That's it. Bubba Stanley, the saxophonist. I heard he opened a restaurant in Santa Lucia after he retired. I think I know about that. We should take a trip down there as a group one day. I cringe at the suggestion. I was never the kind who liked eating at restaurants. On the left here is the wellness center. Wellness center? What's that supposed to mean? Uh... Isn't it not obvious? Now, now, let's not start another fight. <laughs> that was not my intention. Hollis takes a step away and folds his arms. Um, basically, it's an infirmary. I blink at him again. You mean a hospital on campus? I suppose that's a better word, yeah. Ah, good to know. I rub my forehead, feeling the weight of only a couple sporadic hours of sleep laying down on it. I'll probably end up using it a lot. Really? What do you mean by that? The two of them look at me in confusion. Uh, um, it's nothing serious. I just have chronic headaches. I smile as best I can. Please, Karina, there's no need to let everyone know about my nightmares. Oh, that's right. Phew. Looks like she got the hint. Yeah, you'll be yeah, you'll be able to get some help for that here. Let's keep going. We're almost there. Chris starts walking faster towards a clearing behind these buildings. Nope, oh, I just noticed a couple hairs on my screen. Ew, filthy. We arrive at another law. <laughs> My god, he's become Australian. We arrive at another large field with various pathways cutting across it. I notice that all along the perimeter are some of the buildings we've seen so far on the tour. From where I'm standing, I can already identify the seaside marketplace on the opposite side, the theater to our right. God, ugh. God I hope they haven't started calling in groups for lunch yet. They might have, but I don't think we're out of place. Look at all the other groups here. Yeah. We follow Chris down on one of the paths leading towards the university center. I notice he's trying not to stand out too much as he walks, almost as if he wants to avoid being noticed by someone. As we get closer, the number of groups grows significantly. Most seem to stick to themselves, but some have started mingling with the others. I won't lie, it would be nice to get a little break from these guys. <laughs> not, that I'm, not that I'm not enjoying myself. It's just... I could try getting along better. Even Nate's been in a sour mood since he saw his mom. You alright, Ben? Uh, eh? She smiles at me. You're looking at us kind of funny. <clears throat> I think he's just hungry, Karina. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Jeez, my stomach growls once all of a sudden my personality is reduced to the hungry one. Lighten up, I'm just teasing you. You gotta learn to roll with the punches, darling. <laughs> That's right. E2, Karina? <laughs> okay, oh, okay. It looks like they haven't started lunch yet. That's good. He takes a deep breath, clearly trying to calm himself down. So, we've got a little downtime. How's everyone doing? Any burning questions? I have a great- I'm having a great time, Chris. Thank you for the tour so far. No problem, Karina. Heh. <laughs> His tail swings behind him. I guess he needed the reassurance. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I've got a question. Sure, go for it. I need to take a piss. Where's the bath- before he can finish asking, the doors to the UC swing open, and one of the girls I recognize from check-in yells out, Mentors, gather your students! Lunch is ready! Oh, thank God, I'm starving! He completely forgets about the question he was asking and starts sprinting for the UC. But Brian, stop! We need to get in line first! Duh! Huh. 
I laugh under my breath at the geeky shepherd as he tries chasing down the football player. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. You betcha. The two follow after Chris, giggling alongside each other. Hmm. Uh, we should go, right? Indeed. We cannot let the panda get all the food. Huh. As we walk together, I notice there's a slight playfulness to his response. Yeah, Carlos is probably a pretty complex character. Ah, I finally managed to find my group in the sea of students and mentors. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to eat. There's a surprisingly large variety of choices here. It's good to know I'm not going to go hungry. <laughs> About time you showed up. Eh? You're the last one here, Benny boy. My blood runs cold. Sure enough, everyone's at the table. I could have sworn I saw Nate still grabbing a salad. I'm almost... <clears throat> I'm almost finished with my plate. <laughs> It's good to have you join us, Bennett. I was getting kind of worried. I hope this won't be a theme with you. You're the one to talk, mister. I forgot my name tag. I snapped back more bitter and sarcastic than I intended. Gah! Chill out, dude. He's just checking to make sure you're alright. <sighs> I let out an, apolog an apologetic sigh and drooped forward slightly with the tray still in my hands. Sorry, Chris. I didn't mean that. She's right, mate. He smiles at me while taking another mouthful of his sandwich. A mouthful of his sandwich. Okay. Huh? I look at Karina. She shrugs and takes a sip from her cup. Gah! So I always forget Americans don't say that. It's all good, mate. I see. Uh, take a seat. Take a seat. Okay. I look around the table trying to find an empty chair, but... How nice of you to bring me seconds, Ben. Brian stands up and pats me on the back, then grabs the plate off my tray. What the f- How did you know I like orange chicken and egg rolls? He smirks at me while taking a crunchy bite out of one of the rolls. <laughs> Nate chimes in with a chuckle. Why would you do that to me? Karina rolls her eyes and frowns. I swear, if it's not taking one thing, it's another with you boys. Or if it's, if it's not one thing, it's another with you boys. <laughs> I'm just joking around. He sits back down with my plate and continues chowing down on the plate he already had. Hmm. Give me a second. I'll be finished as I'll be finished soon. While taking with while talking with his mouth full, he gives me a thumbs up. Ah! You can have my seat when I'm done, bro. I shrug my shoulders and place down my drink next to him. Huh, what's that for? Might as well take my drink too. Hmm. Carlos grunts, even though he's trying to appear like he's ignoring everything. He takes a huge bite out of the burrito in his hands. I try my best to keep my stomach from growling again, but it has a mind of its own. I'll just grab another plate and sit somewhere else. Seriously, dude? I'm just joking. It's not like he had to pay for that. It's not like he had to pay for the food. Here, you can have it back. He tries giving me my plate, but I, but I put up a hand and start walking away. Too late. You've sealed your fate. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Huh? Maybe not now. But soon. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> Perfect place to pause it. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!